Hello everyone. Welcome to Cornflower Crafts. My nickname is Corn. And I have a project share. And I've been talking the last several videos that I put up. I've been talking about Melody. Her channel name is Melody Made. And she is having uh, her second annual Hands of Friendship giveaway challenge. And I will link that video in the description box below. And as you can see, I like shabby chic. I also like vintage. And I also like the combination of the two. <laughs> and so I finished it. And then I also, in my last video, finished the card that goes along with it. And after I did that, I decorated the envelope. Okay, so first off, as you know, or as you may know, these will be hung from the ceiling. So they need to be double-sided. And what I decided to do is on this side, I thought, you know, I love collaging. And I thought, you know, I'm going to do one side that's very, very familiar if you've been to my channel. Well, thank you if you're new to come visit and thank you if you're old, God love you to keep visiting. And so I decided one side, do what I am comfortable with, do what I have done for some time. And that's this side. And I did paint, what, what I did, um, we need to make them sturdy. So in comic books, they are usually bagged and boarded. And the board, this is from one of those boards. And um, after I traced it and cut it out, then I uh, put gesso. I don't have my gesso down here. It's a nice, huge container, but I put gesso on it. And then I painted it with the Delta Ceramic Coat um, Touch of Pink. And... Then I used, let me say, uh, Tim Holtz's Distress uh, Collage Medium um, to put these down. And I will tell you this, even though it's matte, as you know, when it comes to a very good glue, even if it's matte, you'll still have some shine. And I had a little bit of it on my fingers when I was smoothing these down and a little bit got here. So I went ahead and on this side, you see there's just a little bit of sheen there. Well, that's the collage medium on there as well. And then I added this applique of butterfly and bow. Then I added, see my rose ring? That's why I wore this. I wanted to put either one of these bunnies here because I also have several bunny or rabbit rings, but... Um, I ended up, they ended up being too wide. So I put the rose for this ring. And um, then down here, we've got lace. And then we've got uh, in white and then lace on top of that in pink. And then I made this little ribbon rosette slash flower. And the, you can't tell it because it's so narrow, but there's little hearts in the lace. And then put a flat back pearl on top of that. Then also um, put some sequins. And in the center of the sequins, I put uh, stickles. Okay, and then the hole at the top, I was going to tie these ribbons in a pretty bow, a double bow and everything, but I thought, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to let Melody do that because since they're hanging from her ceiling, I thought she would um, know the length that she would like them to be. They're very nice and long so that she can make them the length that she wants to hang it up with. Now, when it came to this, since this is on this side, that's how I decorated the envelope. See? I... I um, had a strip of white cardstock, and then I just did the collaging on that and the sequins as well. <laughs> and 
and then the little gloves in green with a little bit of, of stickles in the center here because we're dealing with hands. Okay. And then what I, I consider this the back. <laughs> there is no front and back since it's dangling from the ceiling, but this is what I consider the front. And I'm hoping everything is showing up okay. Now, this is mixed media. Therefore, I have a lovely subby who said to me, I like it when you show us what you use because, well, several, because I want to get into mixed media. And so I thought, okay, I'm going to describe this one in a little more detail if that's okay with you guys. So again, it did get gesso this side it did get painted in the touch of pink and i'm going to sit down for a second now because i need to really see what i'm doing instead of looking in at the um phone the after i did all that then i took the ranger texture paste very light i really like that and i put that through i tried to set things out over here <laughs> Hopefully this isn't too bad in the reflection, but I did um, put it through this stencil by Prima. Very, very lacy, and I like it, but I wish that I had gone with a smaller stencil like Tim Holtz's. That I just, it's my favorite stencil ever. And I wish I had gone smaller, but I wanted to do something different. Therefore, that's why that got there. So then what I did, um, I just hauled this. I got this uh, on clearance at Hobby Lobby, the sponge sugar. This is one of my favorite colors ever. And I sprayed it. And, you know, after I sprayed it, I let it run down through the other, you know, through my other pieces of design and everything I was real tickled the way it was looking and I thought you know it needs a little it needs a little something else so what I did was take one of my brushes and dipped it in my um white this is wicker white I do believe by folk art yes and um just did a little uh, dry brushing over them so that that they're actually light pink a darker pink and white because i wanted it to look more lacy like i was trying to look like i had on lacy gloves you know the fingerless ones the same on the back side i was trying to go for because some of y'all know i wear fingerless gloves here sometimes <laughs> and so after i did that um i did go with my um, heat tool and heat things after I did them as well to kind of speed up the process. Um, but to my knowledge, I want to get that crackle paste so bad. And, and I've had, I've heard other people say, do not use your heat tool on that. And then I've seen other people use it. So, and I don't, I don't know, I guess you got to kind of experiment. Now, when it comes to these two little flourishes, those are wooden, and I got them at Tuesday morning, and let me see if I can show you what, oops, well, let me make a mess over here. And these little things, remember how Tuesday morning sometimes would, in the past, this is before the pandemic, would sell these, and these are fun to use, too, to, um, you know, do something. The container itself is wonderful. I was thinking about using these as um, this little frame. I even cut the the triangle off, but it was too it's too I thought too big, and I, and I wanted an, an oval anyway. So, but yeah, I you can find those other places as well. I just you know haven't found them very much. So then um, these got gessoed. They got painted with the white, and I thought that was going to be it, and they just look so dull. So what I did was Folk Art put out Extreme Glitter, the hologram one, 
And so they have two coats of that. I'm not sure if this is showing up, but they are nice and glittery. And with that glitter, it does have pinks and greens, which just matches this to a T, I think. I'm real tickled. I also got out some uh, a gold marker, a metallic gold marker, and made the band for my ring. Um, with these, with a lot of these, um, especially this bigger items, what I glued them down with is, uh, this is from um, Prima as well, the 3D matte gel. This stuff is strong, y'all. And um, so far, I've only used one, you know, in this project, but so far I'm really loving it. The other thing that's good about it is it doesn't dry right away because um, they suggest you put it on with a, a palette knife, which is, this is what I put it on with. And, oh boy, um, it, it gets, it's kind of gloppy to be honest, but I really love how it works. I'm very impressed with it so far. So, um, so like I said, that the ring came on. Then when it came to doing all of this, I wanted to, I was hoping to find a small stamp that said happy anniversary because this is Melody's fourth, uh, four year anniversary for YouTube, but nothing that small. And the only one I did find, it was huge. And you saw that I put it on the card. If you saw my last video. So when it came to this, I took an, um, a die, an oval die. I took that to a cardboard and I cut that out. And then I put gesso on it. And then when it came time to paint that one, this is what I ended up using. The Martha Stewart Multi-Surface Pearl. And let me tell you something. Y'all gonna laugh at me, but that went on like butter over the gesso. It was just, wow, I was impressed. I was very impressed how that worked out. And this is in the color of aquarium. So, and then this is, I think I had told you all, if you saw my last video with the card, I'm trying to use as much old stuff as possible. A few new things did come into play, but it's mostly older. I've had this paper here for like three or four years. And then I stamped on it with uh, the Memento Angel Pink. It's not showing up tons, but I think Melody will be able to read it. It says Celebrate, and I like the font. And then just two little, oh, and then when it came to, you can see the foam, okay? But let me tell y'all something. Here's what I was going to do. Where is it? Yeah. Here's what I was going to, well, here's what I did. I actually cut this up into, you know, pieces about this size and glued them together with the matte gel. Well, first, since this is so slick, um, put sandpaper on it to kind of rough it up some. Then when I cut it, just glued one piece on top of the other on top of the other to get that height. And But when you looked on the side, you saw this. I didn't paint it or anything. You saw this rough cardboard, and I was like, oh, no, no, that's not pretty. The foam's not pretty either, but it's prettier than that. And um, that's foam on top of foam and put together with the 3D gel medium, okay? Um, let's see, what's next? Okay, so I have a new die that I did these leaves with. The glitter paper in these leaves, that's a new die as well. They all came from the same one. Let me see if I can show y'all in case you're interested. Um, but I'm bum bum. This one. Okay. That was one of those ones on clearance. And these, they are lovely leaves. They really are. They're lovely. Oh, 
And it was Jolie's Boutique that the ring came from. Okay. So, um, this is a Prima Flower. That's an older one, not a newer one. Um, these are Paper Studio. That's Prima as well. But the, the center was green, but it was um, moss green. And I was like, no, 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 not this time. So I painted it with Jamaican Sea from Folk Art. <laughs> That's when you have to be very careful because you don't want to get it on the paper. Um, let's see. This, uh, both of the paper from these leaves and the darker leaves, they're both, that's glitter paper from Hobby Lobby that I got on clearance a couple of years back. Then down here, again, as you saw, because it wrapped around the, the lace, then the pink lace on top of that. And then this is a metal piece. Um, just like this, but smaller, because I thought I had this out first, but I was like, no, I didn't want to cover up that. So, nope. So, with um, gesso, then with the paint I just showed you, and then with a uh, flat back pearl here. Okay, so that's, that's how the hand came out. And yes, I do need to iron my linens. This has been in my linen closet. For <laughs> I already showed you the, and explained why I did the envelope that way. And if you didn't see the video that was craft with me for this card, as you see, I tried to do one side, like one side of the hand, and then the, the card front. And then to do the envelope front as like the other side of the hand. And that's what I have for Melody. I hope she likes it. She's such a darling. You know, she's so sweet. Um, I think she will. I hope so. And I'd like to thank you all so much for joining me today. And I hope you have a wonderful morning afternoon or evening. Bye-bye, everybody. Take good care.